Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Ken Martin Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're gonna be going over the new banner deal that we currently have in the shop. Now, it, it came as a little bit of a surprise, everyone, because <laughs> it came out uh, yesterday on Saturday uh, with no announcement until Saturday night, which was very odd. That usually doesn't happen. Uh, but we do have the new Dusk deal, which in case you don't know, is a backwards copy magic reverse uh, copy metal. Now, normally, when it comes to this channel and the game in general, copy metals are by far the best metals in the entire game, okay? And it doesn't matter if they're six or seven star, uh, although of course having a seven star version is going to be better. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's six or seven star just because of how good they are in terms of utility just in general in the game. They're always used in the meta. They're always used in literally every single setup <laughs> in the game, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or veteran. They're like used all the time. Um, so the natural instinct when it comes to the Illustrated Dusk is to try and get it if possible. Okay, and so I just want to kind of give my thoughts and advice as to whether or not you should pull from this banner uh, de Depending on where you are. So the first thing I want to state real quick is that yes, it is a tier 8 metal and It's going to be a very good metal. Okay, it's the same exact thing as an HD Riku replica costs one gauges as well um, It's just magic version now. I know quite a bit of people um, Are concerned about the fact that it's tier 8 and they're not gonna 7 star and to me it doesn't matter if you can seven star it or not, okay? Just getting your copy of the metal is more important than whether or not it's seven star. So don't worry about that. The main thing you want is to simply try and have a copy uh, in general, okay? Now, I realize at the same time that a lot of people are probably super spent, like have like no jewels right now, <laughs> especially after having the Nominate EX Plus deal, the Roxas deal, uh, the Axel deal, incredible, like we've, like, I, this is, it's been a while since we had so many deals all at the same time, to be honest. So, in that regards, I understand if you have no jewels. So, in that case, let me just point a few things out. If you don't have enough jewels to mercy the Dusk Metal, okay, you do not have to worry about getting it. Uh, if you don't have the jewels to mercy the metal already, okay? If you don't already have like a good safe amount of jewels where you can pull from this um, and still have a little bit left over for something else, you honestly can skip this if you already have HD Riku Replica. Um, the main reason for this is simply because of the fact that the Illustrated Dusk, to be honest, doesn't get used on very many Keyblades at all. Quite literally, it's only actually usable on three Keyblades right now. And one of them doesn't even really count yet because you need power up. We need, we're st we need the power upright for a copy metal first before we can do that. So the three Keyblades are going to be the Three Wishes. If we'll actually go to it. There we go. The Three Wishes. Because of the fact it has the uh, the two reverse things right here, okay, um, and that's primarily because of the fact that you can actually use this slot to copy the second slot and this slot to copy the the fourth slot. All right, the second keyblade is obviously going to be the diamond dust because it's pure reverse magic, which is exactly what illustrated dusk is and the third keyblade which isn't viable to use for illustrated dust just yet is going to be the mogul glory hurry up <laughs> now the reason why i say the mugo glory is because of the fact let me go ahead and disassemble this when you take a look at this all right the magic reverse slot is right here in slot four so naturally what's going to end up happening is that because of the fact that illustrated dusk is a backwards copy metal uh, it's going to be copying this power reverse so what you could do with this keyblade is then have like a nominate copy metal right here to copy this power reverse as well and you can try and make this keyblade a power reverse setup in which you would case you would then use a forward copy metal right here to copy uh the spirit slot which would be another power reverse metal um although you might have seen a problem there already, kind of like I said it before. It's it's this fifth slot right here. We don't have a power upright for a copy metal in the game just yet. So until we actually get one, um, the Mugu Glory is going to be a very awkward keyblade to try and use in terms of like copying purposes. Uh, you're still much better off just making it a magic reverse setup instead, uh, where you have your HD Shion 
copying this magic reverse slot and then you have your key art sky copying this magic reverse slot and then you just have a magic reverse metal in the spirit slot um, you're still better off just doing that and the primary primary reason because of that is simply because you'll be you doing a basically a power reverse setup like right here but then you have like an awkward power upright metal and you're not gonna really have all the power upright buffs or debuffs that you're going to need so you're gonna be losing out on that fifth slot whereas compared to the other way around if you made this a magic reverse uh, like set up instead where it focused this on magic reverse this second slot it's it's okay if it loses out on damage because it's the second slot and the first couple slots of the keyblade are not meant for heavy damage at all whatsoever so quite literally the illustrated dusk is only actually usable on three keyblades one of them you can't even really use right now anyways because we're missing another copy metal so if you're not able to get the illustrated dusk it is completely okay do not worry about it if you don't have an hd riku replica already uh, i would try to get an illustrated dusk if possible but if you don't have the jewels don't worry it's like you can you can pass it up and you would be okay with that but other than that if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.